today's lesson is about solving equations. It is Common Core 9 through 12 standard A point REI point one. Today we're going to learn about linear equations and we're going to solve them with one step equations and multi step equations. Now to be successful in this lesson we need to talk about some vocabulary. A variable is a letter or symbol used in place of a number usually unknown. A term is a number variable or the product of one or more numbers or variables. A coefficient is a number that is multiplied by a variable. A constant is a term that does not include a variable, a number only. And an equation is a number sentence containing an equal sign. Now here are some examples of each one of those things. A variable an example would be like x, y, or t. It's just a letter we put in place of an unknown. A term would be a collection of variables and coefficients. So like 5x, negative 2xyz, t, or 4. Now a coefficient, that is the number that's placed in front of either one variable or a set of variables, that monomial term. So the coefficients in these cases would be 5 and negative 2. A constant is when a number stands alone, such as 2 or neg negative 7. Notice they do not have variables with them. An equation is something that has an equal sign. So it could be things like negative 2x equals 4 or 5 times 2 equals 10. Both of these have equal signs, so both of them are examples of equations. If we're given something like 2x plus 3 equals 15, well, the variable is not isolated. It's not on the side by itself. So we still don't know what x is. We'd have to solve this equation to find out what x is. But if you're given something like x equals 6, well, x has been isolated. So you know in this equation, the value of x is 6. Let's look at this equation, x plus 3 equals 7. Now we want to solve for x, we want to see what x is. So to get the plus 3 to the other side, to isolate the x, we must do its opposite. And the opposite of adding 3 is to subtract 3. Now on the left side, they're going to cancel off. On the right side, that's going to tell us x equals 7 minus 3, which is 4. Now we have isolated the variable, so we have solved for x. On this example, instead of having a number added to x, now it's multiplied. How do you get rid of something that's multiplied by x? Well, to divide it off, what we do is it's opposite, and the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. Now on the left side, the 4's cancel off. And you're going to get x equals, and 48 divided by 4 is 12. So now we know the value of x in this equation is 12. Let's do one more example of a one-step equation. So on this one, we have x divided by 5 equals 55. Now we have to do the opposite of whatever's with x to solve for it. And the opposite of dividing by 5 is to multiply by 5. Remember, on an equation, we can do whatever we need to as long as we do the same thing to both sides. So since I needed to multiply the left-hand side by 5, I also have to multiply the right-hand side by 5. Now on the left side, the 5's cancel off. So we get x equals, and 55 times 5 is 275. So this is the value of x. Now let's work on a two-step equation. This time, instead of having something added or subtracted, or multiply or divided by x, we have both of those things going on. But there's an order that we go in to solve a problem like this. The first thing we're going to do is any number added or subtracted with x, we've got to get rid of it. We've got to get it to the other side. So in this case, that minus 4, we've got to deal with it first. And the opposite of subtracting 4 to get it to the other side is to add 4. Now on the left side, the 4's cancel off. On the right side, we've got to combine 17 plus 4, and that gives us 21. Now to solve 3x equals 21, well, we've got to deal with that 3. It's multiplied, so to divide it off, we do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. And remember, on an equation, you can do whatever you want, as long as you do the same thing to both sides. So on the left side, dividing by 3, the 3's cancel off. On the right side, dividing by 3, well, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So this is solved, and the value of x is 7. Now let's look at a multi-step equation. In other words, this one's going to take more than two steps. 
how do we do a problem that looks like this? Well, with any equation, the first thing you have to deal with is the parentheses. So to get rid of a parentheses, when it's multiplied by a number out front, like in this case two, we must distribute the two. Well, two times y is two y, and two times the five is negative 10. Now everything else I just brought down. Now we collect like terms. So the two y and the negative seven y will give you a negative five y. Now the negative 10, I just brought it down, and the negative 15, I brought it down. Now this looks like a two-step equation. So to get the negative 10 to the other side, which is what we always have to deal with first, any number added or subtracted with our variable, we're gonna add 10 to both sides. On the left side, the 10s cancel off, so we get negative 5y equals, and negative 15 plus 10 is negative 5. Now how do we deal with the negative 5y equals negative 5? Well, it's multiplied by negative 5, so to divide that off, we divide both sides by negative 5. So on the left side, it cancels off, and you're going to get y equals, and negative 5 divided by negative 5, well, that's 1. That is our solution for this multi-step equation. So with the skills that we just practiced, what's next in algebra? Well, we'll be solving literal equations, solving absolute value equations, and using equations to solve problems such as finding a missing test score if you know your average. So we're actually going to use this to solve real-world problems.